While replacing a high-caffeine coffee with decaf might sound like the logical choice when trying to cut back, in reality, it may make you more likely to stay addicted to caffeine than to help you break your caffeine habits. The problem is consistency. Caffeine is classified as a drug because it stimulates the central nervous system. And while they don't go so far as to say you can actually become addicted to it, they refer to it as caffeine dependence. As someone that never used to be able to skip my morning coffee without a headache, feeling exhausted and moody, I didn't care what you called it. I knew I was hooked. Trying to cut back on caffeine with decaf doesn't work well because of that dependence. Caffeine withdrawal is brutal and can wear down the strongest of willpowers and the best of intentions. The reason decaf fails you is because of how you have to consume it. When you drink coffee or decaf, it obviously has to be digested. That takes about 50 minutes to get the full impact of the caffeine in your cup. So while the caffeine withdrawal is demanding satisfaction, you're stuck waiting for digestion and caffeine withdrawal will not be ignored. It gets impatient and it won't let up on the symptoms. Worse, it's pretty picky. Caffeine withdrawal can be triggered when it doesn't get as much as it expects. That's where coffee and decaf can let you down. Did you know that the amount of caffeine in your coffee or in decaf can vary from cup to cup? That's because the caffeine in coffee varies depending on the bean that's used and how it's brewed. Consume too much and you trigger caffeine dependence. Consume too little and you get caffeine withdrawal. The professional advice to effectively reduce caffeine is to gradually step down use. But how do you effectively do that when you can't tell how much caffeine is in your beverages? The answer is you can't. That's why 89% of people that try to modify their caffeine intake fail. And they don't just fail, they fail three times on average. So what can you do? I've been trying to modify my caffeine intake for over 20 years and only one attempt has ever stuck. I crushed my caffeine addiction two years ago and I haven't relapsed or fallen back into my old habits because I didn't depend on decaf this time. Caffeine control doesn't depend on digestion like decaf and watered down coffee. It takes a shortcut by being dissolved in the mouth and then goes straight to the brain. This lets me get a boost of focus and energy that works better and 10 times faster than decaf. It let me crush those caffeine cravings fast so it never felt like I was cutting back at all. That's why I've been able to maintain this change for two years and counting because it feels easy. If you're interested in reducing caffeine and want to be successful instead of just making another attempt, check out the link to the website below. Thanks for watching.